Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. Enjoy the video. Monday, July the 27th, I believe. Um, it's going to be a Scorchio one today. I've got loads of stuff, but I've got it back. I tell you what, I felt lost without it for a week. Oh, I'm chuffed to bits though. It's it's like having an old friend back because it saves my legs. <laughs> uh, loads of stuff to do today. And it's not DIY related. It's just garden related, cutting back related, etc. I've got to clear this carport out. I've got to move this um, somewhere. I'm going to have to keep this lot here because these are the, fen uh, the gate posts for... for down at the bottom uh, access to the main inn these bamboos i'm still still confused we're not confused still mulling what i can do with them um i'm sure there's something i can do with them I, but again i'm not sure uh so it's i'm going to tidy this out because we've got a, a visitor today uh, uh the mother-in-law one of the mother-in-law's uh, friends just popping in for a day so she'll need to car, uh, park a car and I got some cutting back so bear with me uh, if I film it I'll film it if not um, I'm too hot and exhausted and I, f I forgot but anyway uh, let's crack on with it catch you later I think it's time for a mole check it's been a couple of days now since the last time I uh, set the trap, which you saw on the last video. Uh, that's if you watch my videos. Nah, joking apart, this is my diary, so yeah, all is good, all is good. Uh, it's the last day today for Una as well. Uh, when her new parents come to pick her up. That's going to be shocking. Right, let's have a look. Let's sh I haven't checked this for... Uh, it's been down two, three days. Right. Let's have a look. Right. Probably... Oh. Right. Nothing there. Oh, the little blighters. Nothing, but they've been activated. Right, this one's a no-goer then. I'm not bothering anymore with this. This particular one. I've got to find another run. And disperse this soil don't worry the grass will grow back it's quite resilient here right this is a little trick three bar and then an empty bottle, when the wind catches it, it rattles. So in theory, in theory, it uh, distracts the moles to say, bugger off. I'm gutted about that, it was set as well. This, ah, okay, here we go. I haven't got time to sort this run out actually at the moment. Yeah, is that another one there? No. Uh, you see yesterday, I did some bush cutting along here. I've got to continue all the way down. Uh, but this is just pulling, it's just the nettles. So this bit's gonna be easy. And then, 
I've got to cut this oak back because it's uh, going on the roof. I think this is going to be my workshop. I think. I was discussing it with the missus. Uh, what I would do, you see that uh, little, uh, tiny little roof which is uh, covering the bench over there. I will, I will reinforce that, put some solar panels on and then feed a line to here and uh, then it'd be a little workshop. It's a lot of work to be done, but uh, that's when we've done all the renovation work on our other property. So it may never ever happen, but <laughs> you can live in hope. So I've got to cut all the way. You can see the path going down there. I've got to cut back all that. And there's a lot of brambles as well, which is all good fun. I enjoy doing it. So, right, let's take this it's non starter. I'm gutted about that, but you know. I'll uh, I'll attack them another day. Right, so let's crack on. Well, that's another day. Hard graft. Um, I don't mind if I say so myself. It's uh, currently 30, 33 degrees outside. I'm in my workshop because it is a balmy 19 degrees in here. 19 degrees. So that's most of the lawns done. The orchard, uh, two thirds done. Um, but it's, uh, what time is it now? It is quarter past six in the evening. I've been at it all day. I think it's time for beer. And... The snakes are back. I can hear them. It scares the living bejesus out of me, but I know they're harmless. Right, now it's time to go and uh, make the most of Una, because tomorrow she gets picked up for a new home. And it's going to be upsetting, but again, it's going to be positive because it's going to a family that we know and we they they know all about her and it's a happy time just gotta remember it's a happy time so here's good luck to una i will put a uh a little thing up uh on youtube uh very shortly just to showcase una the failed handy chien uh, well, it's not failed. It's not through her fault she's failed uh, to make the mark. But she's going to a very good family anyway, nevertheless. And it's been a positive experience for us. Um, and I recommend anyone to volunteer for such a, an organisation as Handy Chien. Um, fantastic. Anyway, it's me signing off. Have a good evening. Ta-ta for now.